Okay then, so by here we have the FP2 from APNX. These are very premium. They're about 28 to, 28 to £30 a fan. So let's get these unboxed and have a look at what they look like. Okay, so let's open them. Right here. Oh, that hurt. Right, so let's take a look at these. Right, so. Ooh. Metal. Of course, it is daisy chain for the ARGB, not for the fan itself. So, if you want to put this in a radiator, it wouldn't be very easy to daisy chain. Now, they ve they do feel nice. I do like the rubber on the side, so it's going to stop vibrations. Now the overall fan, of course, it looks actually quite nice. I do like the overall look. And in terms of the specifications, okay, in terms of the specifications, but there, that is the RPM for PWM. Yes, they are four pin PWM. That is an FDB bearing. Airflow is 83.87 CFM air pressure, but there that's the connectors, and that is according to them between 15.3 and 34.8 decibels when it comes to the noise. So let's have a look at what comes in the box. So, okay, okay, so in terms of the box, what comes in here is actually. A lot of different screws because of obviously mounting them to a radiator and then it comes with this uh, a star, right I know what this is right what this is is an inverted fan so if you wanted to have this in the case instead of facing it that way for the fans you could have it situated that way and then it comes in with a new rubber thing so that's quite nice now here comes the cables that's for a chassis very long uh, connectors for that this is for our AIO and of course that's the basic normal screw so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get all three un unboxed then I'm going to connect them up and see what they look like all three together right then so this is what they look like when they're lit up. Now what I will do is I'll put this light up for a minute because I want you to actually look. Now the cable mess, that is that's just one of them things when you've got a normal fan with basic cabling and obviously you can't really use what like Inwin or uh, not Inwin, sorry, Lee and Lee or any one of them that have actually done of course, they're the one they've done with those kind of things because they've got patterns all over them. So you're really left with all the cable mess. But what I will say is I'll turn the light down, all the way down. Just look at those colours. That is absolutely gorgeous. Now, yes, there's the full speed of them. Now, what I'll do is actually adjust this for you. There we go. That's better. Now, they do look really nice. Um, what I can do, actually, is just unplug these so you can see the RGB itself. Now, they've got some sort of a ring light around the housing. Now, the housing, of course, is metal, so they're going to be very heavy, but they are good quality as well. The bearing type's very good quality, and the overall fan design with the amount of blades, it is very good quality when it comes to the fan overall the rgb is very tasteful i do like the rgb i like the ring around it but of course how loud are these would you guys like to check out how loud they are well let's actually find out how loud they are so here we go oh lift off just to go faster. Oof. Wow. Yeah, look, I'll give you a reference how much air they push in. Look at all that. Look at that. Right, watch now. They push a lot of air. I will say. 
I will say that they do push a lot of air, but they are awfully loud at 100%. So let's turn that down because it's starting to give me a headache. Now, what do I actually think? Now, as you guys, uh, anyone who's a fan of the channel know that I love my RGB. I'm really an advocate for RGB. Now, all I will say is the overall design and overall quality is certainly there. Price, that's really to, you know, I mean, that's really up to you. I, I personally wouldn't spend this much on fans, but then that's just me. Some people are willing to, like Lee and Lee fans, I wouldn't spend the amount you spend on a Lee and Lee fan, but these aren't Lee and Lee fans, so these are going to be cheaper than Lee and Lee. And to be honest, the RGB as well as the overall quality is actually tasteful, and they do look really, really nice. So, I mean, that's really up to you. Now, if you guys would like a review of these, please uh, leave me a like and a comment down below. Let me know what you'd like to see when it comes to the overall fans and... That's pretty much it. Right then, so that's pretty much it, guys. Remember now, if you want to see a review of these fans, make sure to comment and like the video. Let me know what, what we'd rather. Me hooking one up to an air cooler because these push a lot of air and they're rather loud. So I'd think for an air cooler sit, uh, scenario, these would perform very well with an air cooler. But then again... Uh, they could perform well with an AI or but it also depends on what type of AI or you take you use in because some AI ors have got a very thin fin structure on the actual fins of the radiator so it does tend to obstruct some of the airflow but that is all due down to but I think majority of AI ors these days use around the similar I'm thinking more custom loop, to be honest. They push a lot of air, so I think custom loop, they'd actually perform quite well as well. So, yeah, make sure you let me know down below. And as always, this is Richard from Welsh Tech. I'd say, like to be, say a big thank you to APNX for sending this over. The case will be coming uh, soon, very, very soon. And I hope you guys have a fantastic week and a weekend ahead of you. And this is Richard from Welsh Tech. Don't forget to subscribe. Goodbye.